Hello everyone and welcome to another HD tutorial and in this video I will hopefully be able to show you in the time allotted uh, how to create your own custom home page. So now uh, a lot of people have actually noticed this but this is actually a request by the, the first people who actually requested this. A lot of people have seen this as my home page and actually wondered how I do it. So this is going to be the first part of the video is going to be how to actually get the home page and the second part is actually setting it as your home page in a number of different web browsers. So what I'm going to do first up here, well, you've seen my home page in the first place, so what I'm going to do is go to www.shinysearch.com, and that's all you have to type in. And the easiest part here is just selecting the style you want, say I want a Harley Davidson one, and select your name, or whatever you want. So I'm going to search Bob, and this is Bob's custom Harley Davidson homepage. There we go. So now if he wants to set this as his home page right there you see a set as home page button however this does not work with all web browsers so I'm going to first show you how to do it in Safari this will work on Windows or a Mac OS 10 go to edit preferences and stick under the generals tab and here you'll set current page as your home page just hit that set to current page button and you're good so whenever I hit that home button it'll go back to my Google search and yes this is a Google search engine by the way so also over here you have a few little options they didn't just have it that one Google page you can also have a couple of numerous options here for connecting feeding me meeting your friends sorry on Facebook myspace etc um, and more and you can obviously always exit out of this with the little X button up here and if it works I'm guessing it's not going to work in Safari but there you go so if I wanted to set that as my home page for Firefox I'm just going to copy this URL which will work in any IP address in anyone's anyone who happens to have an internet connection and I'm going to open up Firefox. Now I do actually like the Firefox homepage though it does tend to make it crash a little bit so I'm going to go up here and just control V to paste it hit enter and here is my new homepage. Now if I want to set this as my homepage I'm going I'm pretty sure I go to edit now I go to file actually it would be easier if I just right click on the homepage button and hit customize and this is how you change the toolbar so that's obviously not it but anyway, if I want to set this as my uh, custom homepage for Firefox, that means whenever I would hit the homepage button, it would change and it would load Firefox. And it would load, I'm sorry, this web page right here. So that, and I'll also show you, I guess, reluctantly enough, in Internet Explorer, how to change your homepage. Now, the, uh, the URL is still on my clipboard, so I don't have to copy and paste it again. So here's Internet Explorer, and my custom homepage right now is just a blank homepage, so it's nothing special. So once this is done loading, I'll just hit Control V and enter again to get to this website. And once it loads, you can see now here I have to use Internet Explorer. But once it actually loads, I want to actually use it as my homepage. I would go to the Tools button and go to Internet Options, which will pop up a new window. And in this window, you can choose your homepage. Now I will just go Control V to paste my homepage. Well, if I don't, I'll just say Use Blank as my homepage, and that's it. So that is how you change it in Internet Explorer and Safari, and I'll get back to you on Firefox. But if you do know it, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And that is just about it. So that is, now you guys know exactly how I got my YouTube, or my um, my custom homepage whenever I open up Safari, to be this little cool uh, Lamborghini icon, or Ferrari icon. So that's basically it. If you have any other tutorials for me, just send me a request, and make sure you've subscribed. And the channel that actually subscribed to this video is in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.